We call this the right sizing project because we need to right size our district to maximize resources to ensure that our limited resources are going to accomplish the major outcomes of the district and that's we want all students to graduate career and college ready or military ready. So right sizing the district allows us to focus the dollars where they will best serve the students as well as considering the safety and the security of the school grounds. So less bricks and mortar means more resources for teaching and learning and safety. We as a board need to, to make sure that we provide the best education for students so they can move on whether they stay in our community or not. That's our job as a board to make sure that we prepare students for the future and the future is a lot different than, than years ago. We spent over a year looking at the facilities in Marinette School District and trying to determine the best way that we can provide an education to our students. And our goal through this process has been to be operationally efficient while also being educationally excellent. So as we began to look at the right sizing process and putting it on the ballot, we made a determination that some of our buildings are underutilized based on their capacity and we feel we can offer more academic programs if we take a look at going out to our community and finding out what their desires are. We have involved um, the new parent to Marinette School District as well as the veteran parent to, to Marinette School District, our staff, um, our educational associates as well as our teachers as well as our administrators. Uh, business people uh, in the area. I believe our, our hospital was involved as well as some of the other big businesses and small businesses in the area. We're a school district of continuous improvement and strategic planning. I love how proactive we've been. I am a community member, a parent that had a you know child go through this district and it's just awesome to see that they're thinking ahead. They're thinking, you know, what is this going to look like 5, 10, 20 years down the road? During our listening sessions with staff and the community, we found out that optimal class sizes was very important to them. Our building plans will accommodate those optimal class sizes for all of our children in the district. And I believe by combining our staff into one building for each grade level, our students will have access to their friends and classmates that will bring out the best in them and our staff will have the opportunity to receive the necessary training to provide that high quality education. The center approach will enhance the elementary students education. Teachers will be able to work more collaboratively with grade level teachers all in one building. This will allow for more equitable class sizes so that students are able to have their needs met at a more personalized approach. This will allow teachers to have more common conversations about the curriculum that they're teaching. This is going to create some great things for students to achieve that goal of being college and career ready. It's going to create way more collaboration amongst teachers. We have that now, but it's going to be a lot easier and seamless when we are all in one building and we can really get that trajectory going with personalized learning.